What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got Rock the Great right here, man. How you doing? Doing great. I'm doing great, man. Just to start off, let the people know where you're from and where they can find you on social media. I'm from San Diego. Well, actually, born in Chicago, raised in San Diego. You feel me? Y'all can find me on Instagram. I'm on Spotify. Apple Music, iTunes, Rock the Great, ROC underscore the Great. Make sure you put an A with the the, because it's the great. Yeah. Greatness at its finest, you know? You know how we coming, man. Talk, uh, can you talk about, like, uh, coming from Chicago to San Diego? Like, what happened with that? Basically, for coming to Chicago to San Diego, it was like, I came out. I came out here when I was, like, 12. I'm about 12 years old. So I'm already shit in the streets, knowing how shit going and everything, you feel me? Mom, she she working her ass off. She didn't graduate, you know, she wanna switch to uh get get a college degree, but she came out of San Diego to get it, you know. So she like, man, I'm gonna take you with me, you know, I'm trying to keep you away from the streets and all that shit. I feel like you get a better opportunity out there in San Diego anyway, you know? Mm. And I'm like, damn, you know, I this home, my whole family out there, you feel me? Your whole fan, whole fan from Chicago. Cousins, everybody, I don't know, so I don't know nobody in San Diego. But shit, it's my house, so I ain't got no choice. You feel me? She's like, you coming, boy, you feel me? So. Was that hard for you? For the first little year, it was kind of hard, because, you know, I kind of was used to, you know, just the way things was in Chicago, just the food, the family I had, always being able to, you know, just the vibe. It was a vibe that I was, I was missing, you know? But I always knew I'd get a better opportunity out here, and I'm right next door to L.A. I always wanted to be in Hollywood. Why? You know, I was like, <laughs> just shit, just, just Hollywood, cause. it just, uh, <laughs> you know, it got all the greats coming out of there, you yeah. know? Greats, they, 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 they ain't coming out of there, they living in there, you know, they live all out there. Yeah. It's the music city, they got, I always seen Capitol Records, I'm like, one day I'm a, I'm a motherfucker, go to that motherfucker, I'm get it ass my CD, you know, so, I, shit. Do you, do you feel like it, it, it's, it's helped you moving here, you feel like? You know, Chicago music scene popping too now, you feel me? It is, it is, but no, back then I was 12, so the music scene wasn't really popping as what it was, it wasn't like in 2013. Mm -hmm. 2013, that's when like Chief Keef, you know, motherfucking Herb, and you know, all them, all them niggas yeah. started coming out. But when I was out there, niggas was in the streets. Yeah. I mean, it was in the streets. It was in the streets. Yeah, so, right, right, right. you know, I'm, in, I'm hanging out with older, older aunt. You feel me? Yeah. Older, older cousins and all that, and they just, you know, they teaching me the game, trapping, you know, selling weed, selling whatever, how to come up and shit like that. So. Yeah. And like, did your lifestyle change coming to San Diego, or do you feel like it kind of stayed the same, or like? I ain't gonna lie, For probably like the first two years, I was a high head. I was coming out here trying to rob shit. I'm like, oh man, I be white boys and shit. We. Shit, try to come up. I'm going to their pad. They got all types of crazy shit. I'm like, hold on. You know, I didn't got, I didn't got caught up with some shit. You feel me? And that, that just a slap on the wrist. And I was like, you know what? I ain't doing that no more. I'm about to blend in and fit in. You know, I started rocking Vans and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I started, you know, square it up low key. Cause I'm like, shit, like they ain't playing out here. And they'll book your ass and give you hella time and shit. So yeah. I'm like, you know, bro, I gotta, I gotta make it happen out here. You know, this is a, a, a a one shot opportunity because motherfuckers in Chicago they don't all get that get that get the opportunity to come out there. Some motherfuckers stuck out there. No, straight up. You know? They know stuck out there. They, they the, the the pay cost, the, the the minimum wage ain't even enough to even shit even think about moving somewhere else. You yeah. trying to figure out how to get rent, you know? Yeah. So yeah, so it was an opportunity really. How would you describe uh, the way you grew up? Um, like, with your parents around? Are they talking about your moms? About what about your your dad? Shit, moms, moms is always there. Moms solid than motherfucker. She stuck with me the whole, all the way now. She's still sticking around. Pops, he was you know in and out, you know. Pops, in my motherfucking life. He been there. He was he even came out the day go with us, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we was we was we was we was doing a lot. He was showing me the ropes and shit. The pops, you know, get out there in them streets, start fucking with females and shit, have babies, and you know, just be switching out. Mom's got a new boyfriend and shit. Step pops now, you know, so shit started switching up on me, you know. He started dipping and coming back and, you know, trying to play his role or whatever, but. I'm already in the streets, man. I'm learning this shit. I'm, you know, like, the shit that he supposed to be teaching me, you feel yeah. me? 
I'm learning in the streets and then thinking smarter about it, you feel me? Like, you know what? I could go do it the legit way or I could do it the, 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 the street way, you know? I said, fuck it, I'm going to do it the legit way. Find a way to get it, get this bread. If he, if he was sticking around like the 100% was giving me game, you know, the whole way, I probably would have known a lot more, you know, than taking, like, basically, than taking all the motherfucking slaps on the wrist, slaps on the wrist, slaps on the wrist, you feel me? Like, yeah. he could have taught me those, I could have dodged all that. Bumps. Yeah, I could have dodged all that, and you feel me? Like, I ain't doing that. Pops already put me up on game, so, you know, I already don't got to figure out what that's about, like, jail and shit and all that. Like, he ain't even tell me about how that shit going, what you could do to end up in there and shit like that, you know? OGs when I was in jail was, was lacing me on shit, you know? Doing his job pretty much, you know? Yeah. So Pops is in and out, you know? Yeah. That's the whole thing with Pops like that. How would you say jail affected you? Mm. Jail really made me, made me smarter and made me grind harder for real. I ain't gonna lie. Jail yeah. really so. humble. I got into God. I got into what, well, got more in tune with God, you know? Jail really, really made me a man. I ain't gonna lie. I was in there doing my shit, you know. Ten times Got my shin held high. Talk to fam, mom, put money on my books and shit. I'm in there reading books, bro. I'm in there reading all types of books. I didn't got a favorite author and all types of shit. I'm in there reading and shit. I like James Patterson. I, I got up on James, James Patterson, Patterson and shit. Yeah. Alice Cross, Alice Cross and all that shit. Yeah. So I started, I started getting into them books and shit. Started liking. You know, to hear about uh, just like you know, a little shit, just reading books, and you just come up on so much games, just reading books. You never know, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the shit I was on, working out, getting my yeah, fitness right. I got swollen up in there, put up on some size, mm -hmm. end up going to fire camp, and working my ass off up there, cut my time right down to half. For real. Feel me? Made fifteen hundred. I came home with fifteen hundred just on fire camp. Again, that shit was cool though. Uh, that's solid. Yeah. Oh. Uh, as far as like, like at what age did you start going to jail? Or like, how old were you around that time? The crazy part is, I went to jail and I got older, bro. Mm. You feel me? When I hit twenty one, I was with bro. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's when I really went to jail. I'm like, fuck, you feel like me? Yeah, <laughs> not, not, not because it was, it was, I was fucking with him. But I'm yeah. saying, so you know, this is real. You yeah. feel me? Cause bro was there, you know. He ain't the reason why I went to jail. I did some whole other shit, but I started going to jail around this motherfuckers. It was the shit that I was necessarily doing. It's just motherfuckers telling, you know. Niggas do a lot of talking, stitched on, stitched on every single time. Every time I went to jail, been a nigga done told him. Damn. Then they bang your ass over the head with them strikes. My first time in jail. All the OGs like, bro, whatever you do, don't take a strike. You gonna get out, you gonna get out, man. Your case petty, your case petty. I got a lawyer too. They like, man, your case petty, your case petty. Don't take no strike, gang. Don't take no strike. I'm telling you, you take that strike, you gonna this gonna fuck you up in the long run. You're gonna be like, I ain't gonna do nothing else when I get out. I ain't gonna do shit else. Stop you feel me? And then you're gonna get into some shit and that strike gonna come and double every damn thing. Everything. But you know what you gonna think your first time in there. If your, if your lawyer come to you like, hey man, you got court, you like, okay. He like, uh, so what you wanna do? You, what you doing when you go, when you, uh, what you doing later on? I'm like, yeah. I'm finna go back to the cell and make a spread. He like, you don't, you don't wanna see your mom? I'm like, huh? Yeah. See, I'm like, I'm going home? He like, yeah, man, just sign this deal, take this strike, you go home. I must have signed that shit so that fast, gang. I ain't give a fuck about those strike or none of that. I'm trying to go, oh shit. I gotta get buddy, man. I gotta get out there and chase these dreams, you feel me? Yeah. So I took that strike like a goofy. I feel so dumb for taking that motherfucker too, though. So, so what happens when you take the strike? If you go back, everything is like everything. I know about up. three strikes, but if you take that one, when you get the second one, what? It just more time or? Yeah, they double shit. up. They yeah. do that enhancement. You feel me? Oh, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, they do that gotcha. enhancement because that strike prior. You know, Damn. they call it a strike Damn. prior, and they but, and they, but they but they like. They beg niggas to take the strike because they let you out. Right. But and it's my first know. time ever being in trouble on paper at ever. Yeah. Ever. 21, I didn't been straight. No trouble. Yeah. First time. Man, that's they fucked up for bang sure. Bang me over the head. That's, that's fucked yeah, up for sure. Uh, African Americans are straight fast. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. so, I mean, they want to keep us in the system. Yeah. They, they, mean, they assume automatically we're going to fuck up. As soon as we get out, we're going to fuck up. Got to yeah. keep some niggas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. He ain't making so much money off us in there too, yeah. Man. Yeah, no, nah, prison for sure. There's a lot of money being made <laughs> yeah. off, off prison work and shit. Prison, man. man. For sure. They charge you to use the phone. Yeah. They charge you to eat hot that Cheetos shit be and so shit. That crazy. It's supposed to be like rehabilitation, but they are right. just like you modern know? day slavery for real. Then they got you in that showering, yeah. butt ass nigga with all oh, niggas. Yeah. Like, bro, y'all know y'all could have put some fucking. Some, some, yeah. you know, some, some closures up or some lines or something we to keep some doors up or some walls. Some motherfuckers yeah. don't gotta be shot. They do that shit to fuck you up mentally and break yeah. your ass down. Like, man, you not home. Shit, you gotta take a shower. How you gonna do it? Well, you go get up in the shower. You feel me? Or you go get, wait till everybody else shower and try to get in before anybody else get in. But shit, that one time you might take a shower with another nigga. He might be on the whole other side, but still, y'all both in the shower together. That's just different. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 shit. What if you gotta you fight this know, nigga? Man. You gotta yeah. get over this nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. On some 50 cent shit. Get rich right and die trying type shit. Yeah. Like, man, fuck all that. I ain't fighting naked and all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro, that shit, that shit crazy, though. Jail really ain't, 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 ain't the place for nobody. No. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Yeah. Life going without I'd rather nigga die or something to go to jail, bro. Fuck that. All right, like going I, I wouldn't wish that upon none of my enemies that they go to jail. Yeah, so, nah, straight up. Uh, so I, I talk about getting into music. Like, how did that happen? Shit. I always had it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, always man. been in me since since the nigga was shit Pampers. I always been spitting bars and shit for my family. Like, oh, you so cute, rap that little rap. <laughs> I tease it all that way, rap that little rap. So music just. Started really taking off for me when I got a no right before I went to jail, bro. I had an opportunity. God gave me an opportunity. I'm working with Soldier Boy, doing my little shit. You know, I'm getting a little clout. My what nigga started hearing about me. Uh, Soldier was like basically just you know just like pretty much like showing me the ropes and shit. He wasn't gonna sign me to SOD, but like he was basically telling me like you got you got gas. You feel me? Like I can show you how to get on and shit like that. You know, but I already kind of had heard a little bit shit about Soldier. I'm like ah, you know, but. It was giving me clout. Motherfuckers see me with him and shit. They like, damn, okay, you, you really doing something. Now niggas wanna hear what I'm talking about in my music. For so sure. I gained fans off that. And then they heard what I'm rapping about. They like, oh yeah, bro really got gas. Everybody in high school, I was like, yeah, right, got that gas. Right, right be going, bro. I got motherfuckers in high school playing my music. Bitches too, they all play my music. They play music at the high school parties and everything. This shit go crazy. I'm like, oh, I can really do this. This this is me and it's fun, you feel yeah. me? And I love, I enjoy doing it. When did you start taking it serious though? Like around the time with Soldier, or was you still? Not I wasn't fully? taking it. I still wasn't taking it serious then. I ain't gonna lie. I should have, you know, doubled up on that. But uh, I started taking it serious probably around about. Shit, I'm 26 now. So I probably taking it serious probably like 24. Honestly, I've been rapping and dropping music on SoundCloud. But until I started hearing about man, you can get paid on Spotify, and, you know, yeah. iTunes and all that. So about like 25, I started taking it serious. So that's like 2019, probably 2018. That's when I really started taking it serious. Yeah. When you really working hard, you feeling it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Once you're I found that sound, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how hard was it to find your sound, and how do how do you find your sound? You gotta yeah. just you got yeah you gotta go through the lumps and shit. You gotta try some shit and ask your homeboys and people, hey, you fuck with this, you know? And motherfuckers will tell you that shit different. Like, yeah. hey, bro, that shit different. That, that shit cool. Time. I like that. That shit different, you know? And then I started finding my sound more just being in the studio. You got to stay in that studio. Yeah, if you really want to find a sound, your sound, and, you know, get that shit down packed 100%, you got to be in that studio working. Yeah. Even if you don't drop the song, just get get it recorded, you know, so you can go back and hear your flaws yeah, and try different shit. Sense, really. And Future was one of the really motherfuckers that really kind of made me think, like, you know what? I like how bro do it. You feel me? I like how he... How you push it together. Also Kendrick too. Like I like how they push it together. I mean they more was an inspiration with the music with me. And Nipsey too, you know. Yeah. I looked I looked up to the niggas like, okay, I see what they talking about. I already know how to rap, but let me start talking about some shit. Yeah. These niggas talking about real shit they went through. So it's easier. When you talk about some shit that really happened, it's easier rather than rap about some shit that ain't happened. Cause now you you, you trying to Yeah, now yeah. you gotta keep the story going, you know? But when I see these niggas rapping about real shit they did, like I'm like, okay, that shit. That shit in real yeah, life. Feel more. Yeah. yeah. Like, he call it the marathon. Yeah. So I follow his yeah, steps. I start yeah. selling. Yeah, it's real facts. And he's out there selling tapes. I didn't even know that. Nigga selling tapes for yeah, $100 and shit. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Really I'm out there selling tapes. Life. I said, get out. Let me get off my ass. 
Cause you don't know, bro. How many niggas out there really you didn't tapes get up? Yeah, I'm still, I was selling tapes. I still yeah, damn was selling tapes. I probably still sell tapes now. Yeah. You know, until I figured out how to get my bread up, bro. I was getting up every day. First day, I'm getting up. Let me get, get some money. I'm making tapes. I'm going to go buy them at uh, Office Depot, Walmart, buying a honey pack. You feel yeah. me? Go somebody on Instagram, make me a little cover or something like mm. that, and then I put them in a the little sleeves for people, and I'm out there slanging them. Hot cakes, getting these bitches off. Man. Niggas gave me 20, 20s, 100s. Somebody yeah. gave me 500s, 250. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. And this is right now. In today's yeah. age, motherfuckers still buying CDs. You feel me? Some people be like, man, we ain't listening to CDs yeah, no more. But I kid a game is on the back. I got the Spotify for you. Man, and boom, iTunes, yeah. you can scan with your phone. The so QR you know, code type yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, that's clutch. So you got, you can get, I'm coming all angles. I like that. And I got sure. Venmo, Cash App. Whatever you need, square. Yeah, yeah, you can slide your car, you can tap it, all that. I can't. Yeah, a lot of people get scared of square, but I ain't gonna lie, I made 30 bands off square. 30K off square alone, just from selling tapes. Damn. When I looked at my, my, my statements, I'm like, damn, I made that much? Golly. You ain't really selling his music. Yeah. All my music. I'm yeah, giving my foot. I ain't selling no flanks, no CDs with nothing on it. No, that's all me on it. My hard work. Put on a CD. That's what I thought about when I'm in the studio. I'm like, I'm put out a CD. I was like, okay, how you gonna do? It? You gonna drop an EP on, on on the internet or whatever? Like, nah, I'm finna go out there and motherfuckers faces. Like, here, take this shit, bro. Yeah. I got that gas. Yeah, you need to hear this. You feel me? I put it in motherfuckers' hands. So I feel like that's another another reason why I was getting blessed with the music. Cause I'm getting up off my ass. You don't understand how many niggas really can't do that, bro. Motherfuckers get up like, how I'm finna get high today? Who who could I who weed could I go smoke? Who who drink could I go drink? Motherfuckers don't get up like, hey, bro, let me go make some money. Yeah, let me go I'm sell some tapes. Let me go sell some shoes, shirts, something. Make make my own clothing brand, sell some shirts. Motherfuckers don't think like that, bro. You can really be your own boss. You just got to get the fuck up and get out there and get it. And I learned that shit off the tapes. I was going to tell you, I learned that right then and there. What advice would you give to somebody that, you feel me, they want to be their own boss, but they don't know how to do it? Stay consistent, man. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's honestly, and, and believe in God, man. Keep the faith. Cause I ain't gonna yeah, lie. If you give up that faith and you stop talking to him, you gonna see your life start plummeting and be like, man, what happened? I was doing so good. Now I got random shit, enemies popping up, and all this. Cause you lost, you losing faith, you're losing the man. You gotta talk to him. Believe in your fucking self at all times. Exactly. Cause at the end of the day, it's you. Exactly. You believe in you at the end of the day. I'm always talking to God all the time. Even if I'm doing bad, I still talk to him. Even if I'm out here doing something I'm not, I'm still talking to him because I know you're going to see it anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just like that's the way I look at it. If you really want to become something, you got to. Everybody want to be rich, but don't nobody want to put the work in. Yeah. So I, I expect that shit just comes up. Everybody want to be rich. Yeah. Everybody chasing that one thing, and that's that dollar. Once you get that, what you gonna do with it though? Yeah. If you Real got a craft shit. and you got something, you gotta have a plan, you know? Once you get that, like this money, money ain't shit, bro. This is what everybody's trying to get to. It's what you gonna do with it. You, blow that shit you know, I could blow this with some clothes, some shoes, and a car and be one day. broke. <laughs> like, okay, now what you finna do? Like, what you finna do with that? Yeah, that's stupid. Then gas, food, right all that shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, real shit. Nah, I 100% I agree with, with what y'all saying. Um, can you talk about collabing with uh, with Neff? Y'all got the song oh, yeah. out now. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, that's on all streaming platforms. Yeah. Faded. Yeah, um, yeah man. How did you get connected with Neff? So basically how I got connected with Neff was I was working on that song, Faded. Y'all go check it out, man. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Rock the Great, featuring Neff and Farrell, Bright So, feel me? So how it all started off, I was listening to a beat. I'm listening to beats and shit. It was a Draco beat, you know, Draco. Probably. Right, rest in peace, Draco, you know. Draco, I, I was a Draco type beat. It was a type beat. So I liked his beats, you know, so I was looking for some beats. I heard some shit like, oh, this shit not. I'm in a, I'm in the kitchen rapping with my boy, coming up the hood. Like, nigga, I go, and nigga, you stop. And I was just, you know, we just rock it, we rock it. He like, oh, bro, that shit go crazy. I was like, okay, I take it to the studio that next day. I lay that shit down. My bro, Barso, my engineer and shit, he ain't fucking with it really. Off the top, he not really <laughs> fucking with it, kinda. You know, he probably gonna see his interview and be like, bro, why you say that? But cause he wasn't, you really wasn't. He was really fucking with it out top. Cause I don't know if he just didn't like sound or how it was coming, but 
I had brought some bitches through. And they was fucking with it. And he keep playing it, he keep playing it, right? So I'm like, hey, you know, I'm finna go back, I'm finna go get some weed or something, you know? So I take off, I leave the bitches there. Tell me why I come back. This nigga got a whole hook on this bitch. What? As soon as I come back, he didn't put a whole hook on this bitch. It didn't go. Go stupid. Like, perfect collaboration with the song, right? Then I kid you not, bro. I think it was probably, what, the next day. Next day. We working on a song still. We playing it for pe- people, and they all like, damn, this shit go without net verse wow. on it. It's just me and Bryce on that. And uh, we playing it, we playing it, and like, I don't know, Neff had a show, and he ended up fucking, because it's two studios, one upstairs, one downstairs. We be at the top one, and it's the one downstairs. I guess he was doing some business or something down downstairs with the other uh, studio dude. I, I forgot his name, but they doing some work and shit. So, uh, bro, my nigga put it there first, Shout him out and shit and my nigga no fiction. They 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 like, hey bro, you know, Neff the Pharaoh downstairs, you know, like y'all y'all should show this nigga this song and shit. Like this shit going crazy again. Like right. it's slap, you feel me? Bryce was like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't wanna go. Like it seemed like I'm, you know, dick riding and all that shit. I'm like, bro, he I got he got, so. you know, all you ain't, all you doing is showing him a song. Like, yeah, hey, you fuck with it or not, you know? Is it good? You asking everybody else, these bitches and shit. Might as well ask somebody that's actually go, you feel yeah, me? Do something out. with it. You feel <laughs> me? So he come in, he, he go down there, he ask him and shit to come check it out. He's like, okay, I'm gonna come up there and get up with y'all, you feel me? This nigga hear the song, bro, and cause it's just my part here, right? He just playing my shit back to back to back, like, bro, this shit go. He like, who is this? This is you. I'm like, hey, it's me, gang. He like, bro, that's crazy. He just started playing a song back probably like six times, bro. He brought all the bitches up there, too. They shaking ass. I got the video still. They all shaking <laughs> ass to the song. He rapping his verse. He make his verse right there on the spot. He ain't even write no paper, no pay, no pad. He just jump in the studio, record his verse, lay it yeah. down. It's a hit. And the night was just like a video night. If only would have had the motherfucking video camera or your ass there or something. Yeah, like, that shit would have already had a music video. But we just did the music video not too long ago. So that's coming to y'all real soon. And the video was Liddy. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Neff came out. Which y'all was doing back in the out video. <sighs> Faded. <laughs> <laughs> Faded the motherfucking shit. I took that nigga Neff downtown, bro. He yeah. Stayed, he stayed with me for hours. We, 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 uh, we had an a Airbnb. Yeah. Up in La Jolla, nice one, nice little mini little mansion or whatever I guess you could call it. And then we was at PB. PB always lit. It's a beach out here. Yeah. PB always lit. Prom we like Chicano Park too. Yeah. Well, we went to Chicano Park first. That's another park out here. Yeah. Right under the Coronado Bridge. You see that blue, big blue man. bridge. Yeah. yeah. If you coming from the, the downtown side, right before you you know get on the bridge, Chicano Park right there. That's where my distillery at too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's a known spot. A lot of yeah. people know about that spot, you know. And it's hella artwork and shit, skate park and shit. Yeah. So uh, we shoot a little scenes right there, you know. I was running damn near late because I, I don't know, but I had to help other people out and shit. I was running a little yeah, later, whatever. Know, so he was, he was chilling, yeah. Right? Yeah, I was running a little later, chilling. whatever. So my boy right here kept him, yeah, kept, kept him company and shit. Yeah, took him to go yeah, get some downtown, shirts and shit. Yeah. 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 So he was really tripping. He just tried to feel yeah, it, that vibe and shit. It's hot him up. for sure. So, uh, what happened? Shit. So then we move, uh, we move on to the uh, PB spot right after that. I'm like, let's go PB. They had low riders and shit all there, but I was late. I missed the low riders and shit. Yeah. So uh, he, was he missed it too. Is it? He was got there about the same time as me. Yeah. So uh, we went to the. Um, we missed it because we went downtown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I took him downtown. I mean, you know, look around and shit. So a couple places and shit. Yeah. Yeah, bro, took him around and shit, kept him company. So when we got to uh. PB, it was lit. All type of people seeing us shooting videos. They jumping out, females jumping out, getting in a little video, getting a little seeds and shit. So it was already like a movie already. Yeah. No, all we had to do was pull up and start shooting the video. But was like, oh, y'all rap, y'all rap, y'all rap. So most of the college kids and shit out there. So they all just turned up like, oh, waking, walking by, just turning up with us and shit, asking us who he is and shit. That nigga Nev Energy was on point though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we finished it up at the uh, Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. Zay Tobin also tapped in with you. Man. Yes, sir. How'd that feel? Ziggy Zay. Oh, man. I was telling him. That was, 
that's, I, that's a legend right there, man. I was just like, damn, when bro tapped in with me, I was like, oh, yeah, I, I got it now. Yeah. It's on. He tapped in with me, and he tapped in with me, not off Faded. He tapped in with me off yeah, Money on the Flow. Yeah. Another I song I had song. just dropped with me and Bryson right there. Yeah. He was fucking with that was super tough. Liked it and everything. Yeah. Got him in my DM, like, like, him, like him, he get in my DM, like, hey, bro, you know what's up? You know, like, that shit go. Like, you know? First I can help you do some 100. promotion and shit like that, yeah. you know? You dropped the 100, bro. Yeah. The 100 symbol. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He put the hundred symbol. He dropped yeah, the hundred symbol again. Yeah, he did. He, started he dropped the hundred yeah, yeah, symbol. That's all. Like, okay, yeah, bro. Really fucking with the song. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, okay, bro. What you wanna do? That he like, man. I'm trying to promote it. I'm trying to put this shit out to you, you know. So I'm like, you know what's up? Uh, I'm thinking, I want a beat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let me get a beat, man. You feel me? Whatever. I'm but sure. I'm talking business. He talking business about the song. So I'm like, okay, what you wanna do with it? You know, like I could put you. I could put it out on my page for you and shit. You know, to shoot me a little tip or whatever. You know. So I'm like, shit, no problem, nigga. Yeah, Zay. Shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I shoot him a little tip or whatever. He drop it on there. And we was he just he just uh did a shout out for me too to put on a uh music video. Mm -hmm. Before the video dropped, he gave me a cool ass little shout out, solid ass shout out yeah. on some real gang shit. And I'm like, this nigga. And that's not even a song. So imagine when he when I dropped money on the flow video. Yeah. I dare be well, his ass come out here and get in the video. Yeah, man. straight up. <laughs> shit, just kept kicking with us, man. Yeah, but that's 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 another door open right there. Like, bro, well, that's God showing me signs like, rock, do this shit. This this is your craft, man. This is what you need to be doing. Do it. Yeah, bro, big bro always been telling me like, hey bro, come on man. You got it. You got the vision. Yeah. You got the vision, man. Keep it going. Keep that shit covered. Yeah. So, man, you know, you keep a lot of people like that. That's love. You feel me? Once you get that type of love, it's like, oh, shit, that shit feel good, man. Bitches sending me TikToks, dancing to my song and shit. Like, oh. It's tight. That's the wave right now. Man. <laughs> and just to have somebody you don't know dancing to your shit. That shit, that's, that's right sure. there. That's that's approval. <laughs> it's, you got one, bro. You've had some um, some life experiences. Um, we kind of discussed it before we did the interview, but um, yes, sir. Can you talk about you know getting shot, the the accident, you know? Yes, sir. Some needed no walker now. Yes, sir. Man, so you know, you know, I always know that you know with with, with money and fame and all that, that's haters come with it, you know. That, that's gonna come with it off tops. And, you know, I can't really talk too much about that. It's still an open little case or whatever, but I can give you all a little, little insight of whatever would happen. Long story short, motherfuckers just had a show that night or whatever, you know. Niggas shooting, niggas uh, did our thing, though. Showed out, showed out, showed out and shit. Did our thing. Motherfuckers probably see me, you know, dripping. Who this nigga, you know, niggas hating, you know. You feel me? Catch me, catch me slipping in the parking lot, you feel me? Yeah. Shit, one thing led to another, shit. Nigga got hit in the back. Oh, man, it was just, it was pretty much all over after that one. But you know, no blah, blah. I can't really talk too much about it, but I'll give y'all a little thing right there. Yeah. But yeah. Hey, let me let me call you back, gang. I'm doing the interview. Yeah, shit was fucked up, too, because he was just getting right. Yeah, so that shit, that shit fucked me up. Oh, my goodness. Man. This was after the accident. Yeah, man, after he oh, got shot, shot he started camera? walking, shit started yeah. walking back. Yeah. And I'm like, man, it's some shit happening right here. Okay, for sure. Car crash shit. So, Look what Brody did on me right there. That's that 805, baby. Oh, that's your heart. Yes, sir, Ski. Oh, that's your heart. Shoot. That's yeah, your heart. fuck with my boy, man. Shout out to your shit, gang. Yeah, man, B-Dog, man. Body Artist SD on Instagram. I own a shop. I've been tattooing and piercing for like 13 years. That's your heart. That's your heart. He also yeah. do security work too and got the limo, man. If y'all need yeah. to, yeah. Security work if y'all need to uh, want to pull up Epic, yeah. let my man get you right. Water. The, uh, I see the water. Liquor on the way. Yeah. Vodka, yeah. silver, Posado, yeah. Anejo, all super deluxe. Super okay. deluxe, the brand. Super deluxe. Give you want with me? All right, myself. Oh, me and you. Like, you know what I mean? How after you got shot, how you just start getting back walking 
Yeah, so pretty much after the shooting and shit, I had just, like, eight months took me back to get back walking and everything. You know, uh, I'm a fucking start, you know, getting back out there, driving and shit. I'm driving now, like, you know, not knowing that I can't respond quick as I could, you know, because I'm still kind of healing, you know. And I'm so hyper to get back in my car, my business, drive and shit, because yeah. I've been at the hospital for about eight months. I'm like, man, I need to get out here. You know, I want to just be in my whip and go back to the studio. I really want to get back in the studio. Yeah. Man, I must have damn near came down the hill, damn near almost by my house, bro. And some fucking idiot, bro, come in. Smack my shit from the side, bro. Break my whole fucking hip, gang. Like, in half. Whole leg, whole hip, gone. Broke. <laughs> Bone snap, man. Damn. It's, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, back, back. Set back. Big setback, major setback, you know? Went for walking. Shit, I was just already good, yeah. man. I was damn near, I was damn near off the walker. That, that was that was after you got shot. Was after yeah. I got That's shot. That's fucking crazy. And I crashed the whip. My brother just started getting back, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> man, man, just crashed the whip, yeah, gang. You know, crashed the whip. And I was like, I started asking God, like, why, why this, you know, why this happened now, you know? Like, I just was getting better. I thought I was over all after that. Once I got hit in that car, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. I didn't know what I was hit at. I just see blood dripping. I feel I can't feel my leg. I'm like, oh shit, I'm finna die. But it ain't like that. You know, niggas just think dramatically, you feel me? Cause I just got out of that, you know, getting yeah, shot in the hospital. Exactly. And yeah, I'm nah. back in this motherfucker. That shit traumatic though. Right? Man. And it's like, damn, people looking at me like, oh, you you fucking up, bro. What you doing wrong? Like you you like getting on me, like I did something wrong. Yeah, this yeah. nigga hit me. Yeah. <laughs> You feel me? Like I can't, I can't control that. Yeah. But yeah, bro, that was a setback too. I ain't gonna lie, cause I was, I was, I was, I was hot about that one. That set me back. But you see, as you can see, bro, I'm still grinding. Yeah. I still got back out here and made it, and made it happen. Yeah, Immediately sure. get out, shoot a video with F. You know, I'm using the walker sometimes through the vid. <laughs> sometimes through the vid, you know. Yeah. But that's, I stay dedicated, man. I ain't never gonna give up. You know. Yeah, I ain't gonna let him get up. Straight up. Yeah, and God always got me. For sure. what, what, what is your like recovery process been like? You know. Yeah, the recovery. A lot of people ask me about that one. The recovery process. I've seen a neurologist, and they said as long as you keep you with with the spinal cord injury, you really don't know. You know. Yeah, you really man. don't know what how much functions you can get you back. They were surprised I even got yeah. this far. They're like, man, walking. you ain't walking. Yeah. Like you they got. They think you would be able to walk. Zero again. percent yeah. chance of walking. Wow, the that's what they told right, me. Exactly. And the bullet, and why they said that is because the bullet had to stay in there, and yeah. I couldn't get an MRI because the MRI it has a magnet, you know, and that can yeah. move the bullet, the bullet around and fuck me up even more. Yeah. So they gotta leave it in there. So there, therefore, they can't tell how how damaged the spinal cord is, you know, because they can't do an MRI. Where the bullet at? All right. So. So they never took it out? Nah, it's just still in me right now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Cause the MRI, you can't have metal in the MRI. Yeah. Right. I mean, you do that with the Nah, y'all had an MRI. You got to take, you got to take all your shit off. Yeah, so mm -hmm. bullet. Yeah. You got to take all your yeah. shit out, bro. So it was like, that's crazy. you got zero per chance of walking. Me, me fam's like, man, that's a cap. Yeah. That's a cap. I'm going to be walking. I ain't tripping about that. I ain't, I ain't tripping about none of that. They going to be walking. I'm right knowing I, I didn't even sound right. Yeah. And guess what? This nigga come back. Probably like two days later. Hey man, I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I read the uh, the, the cat scan wrong. You know, yeah. you are gonna walk. You know, I I, I, I messed up. I, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Apologize to me and my family. I, you know, call my mom. Apologize to her. She was crying and everything. Like, yeah. I made a big mistake, man. And and the doctor, the major doctor, because he was like a he was like a, a wow. doctor under him, like assistant, yeah. I think. So he said the doctor really got mad at me and was like, go apologize to them right now because you, you really hurt that family, you know? But we was even hurt though, because yeah. we already knew what it was. We like, we can't believe it. Yeah, you moms said. was hurt, but yeah. you know, everybody, yeah, she just hurt because the situation is the situation I'm in, right? Yeah. But yeah, everybody, once we, I already knew I was gonna walk. I'm like, I already knew you fucked up, you feel me? Yeah. And it didn't make sense. I could feel my legs, I could feel everything. So yeah. it ain't like, a motherfucker can't walk, you yeah. feel me? I can feel everything, get up, walk around. It's just a little weaker, you yeah. feel me? That's why I got to use the walker, just and they get tired, you yeah. feel me? No, nah, no, nah, I get you for sure. Man. Shit, you know, 
I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm knowing you gonna bounce back. You feel oh, me? You man. already bouncing back. You Come feel on, me? gang. This some slight. Yeah. This is <laughs> slight, gang. You feel me? A mirror me, baby. Yeah. You feel me? I'm already back <laughs> up, gang. Like it yeah. never even, never even left. Got the 2021 Audi the money, out there, man. Yeah. Like, money on the life club, is good, man. bro. And yeah. I ain't even got a deal yet. Yeah. Nice. I ain't even got a deal. I'm doing this all independent, man. Yeah. Got my whole studio set up right here. Yeah. It's a little, a little mixed up right now because we doing tattooing, but. That's the, that's the whole thing. We got the Apollo Pro Tools, Everything. the best of the best, best auto tune, Everything. good mic, good yeah. good phone. I can see I got my shit set up, bro. Yeah. Everything yeah. set up. Nah, straight up. I just spent sure. good money on this shit to, to put it together. My my dream was to always have my own crib and have my own studio in my room, and I was gonna lock my shit in myself in here. Yeah. You see that lock right there? Straight yeah. lock, no door yeah. handle. I'm finna lock myself in this bitch. Straight up. <laughs> I open it up because I got this is part of it, you yeah. know. So, yeah, I'm about to. This is what I do. I just chill, pad, work on my craft, and you know, build my image up. Yeah. Because that's the main thing. You can't you can't really blow today's world without no image. Motherfuckers want to see the who got the money, who got the cars, who got the jewelry. You feel me? That's yeah. what motherfuckers want to see. Nah, no, like you're right. Nah, no, for sure. Out, outside of music, what you like to do? Outside of music, man, uh, shit, I just be similarly. I uh, go to the casino maybe a few times. Uh, what you play? Working on clothes uh, at the casino. Yeah. Roulette. Like roulette. roulette. Yeah, I play roulette. Or I shoot, or I play, or I shoot craps. Yeah. yeah. Shit, yeah. yeah, I used to skate, bro, on everything. I got the Spitfire tatted right here. I got the Spitfire tatted right here. I used to skate, going crazy. You were saucy, you were saucy. Saucy, <laughs> man, I was going crazy, you know? I pick up a board, like shit, fuck it, gun. I'm finna pick up this board, man. That's another San Diego thing I caught on to. Skateboarding now, for I sure. I'm sorry, anything I ever fuck with, I be good at it, bro, it's crazy. Like anything I ever fuck with, yeah. if I feel like it's, it's good enough for me to even try to put my step on it, I know I, I'm a, I'm gonna get good at it, you yeah. know? Like skating, I'm like, I'm about to be the best at this shit. Yeah. Nah, nah, I, I, I fuck with that for sure. That's tight that you used to skate and shit. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like uh, expensive designer is worth it? And I'll see you drip yes down. Yes and no. Okay. If you got, it all depends on what you're doing. If you just a nobody, you got a nine to five, and you out here buying Balenciaga and all mm -hmm. this, like, what is you spending all that money on these people for? Just to have an image, what, to go out in one night or two? You know, that makes sense, I guess, for one night or two. But then, like, what are you really spending all that money on? I can see if you have an image to uphold and you, like, an artist or a model or something like that, and you want to get these type of people to, to see you, this is the type of people you want so they can invest in you. You feel me? I always went to, you know, be, in my, be under a... a, a a designer line, you know, be under like, or uh, not even a model for him, just a collaboration, kind of like Virgil did, and set yeah. the set the record, the record straight with it, with the with the uh, Virgil and what he do, do Gucci, yeah. Louis, and shit like that. Like I was, I want to do some shit like that, you know. Yeah. So that's why I rock this type of shit, you know, because it's a part of me, you know. I feel like I feel good when I got this shit on, yeah. you know, because I really put that shit on, yeah. you know, like yeah. I feel good. materialistic shit don't matter. You ain't never had the shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You have the money, you can afford it, you feel me? Yeah. I never had a mirrors and shit, bro. It, it makes sense to get me to get it. Yeah. I used to yeah. watch motherfuckers having mirrors on and shit like, damn, pop smoke a mirror, mirror, mirror. Ace Boogie, A Boogie, A Boogie with the hoodie, the first person I heard about talking about Michael Mirry. So I'm like, ooh, bro, I want some mirrors, man. But I seen a person, I'm like, ooh, god damn. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, woo, Michael Mirry tried to get rich off niggas, like, bro. You blow your whole check on me. So I'm like, man. Yeah. I get it one day, you feel me? Yeah. Hey, one day, that shit, that shit came around, but that's really why I get it. Cause I, when I didn't have it, I couldn't get it, you know. And now that I got it, I want it, cause I couldn't get it back then. Yeah. It's just like, it's, I guess it's just a pride thing, you know, with the with the designer and shit like that. Nah, nah, I get you. I just I also just, with the jewelry too. You feel yeah, me? I was you got dang. How, how much you spent on the teeth? <laughs> Go ahead and let me know I how much the teeth like went, y'all, man. I spent yeah. 15, man. Yeah. 15K on the teeth, bro. Tops and bottoms. Johnny Dang, eight up top, eight bottoms. Yeah. You know? All VVS is flawless. Diamonds, I can tell. You, know? you ain't even, 
Yes, sir. I can tell when I look for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's him. Johnny Dang, I wish I brought the box. I could have showed y'all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro, for to get a Johnny Dang, too. You know? <laughs> hey, but you know what? When I was younger, let me put you up on some game while I got into Johnny Dang. I used to hear motherfucking Paul Wall and all that shit used to always talk about motherfucking, I want to see a grill. They used to put Johnny Dang ass all out the video and shit. I'm like, damn, bro. It seemed like he making the best grills. Because ain't nobody going nowhere else. All these rappers back then, they all going to Johnny. I'm like, shit, bro, I need to go to Johnny. You feel me? So as soon as I got the money for Johnny, I went straight to Johnny. Like, bro, I'm not getting a grill by nobody you went to else. Texas or where you went to? Texas, Houston. Yeah. Houston, Texas, yeah. Get the drip on. That's where he was at. And yeah. it was actually Johnny B that hooked me up. He told me if I want to get Johnny Dane to come back and set up an appointment and we can uh, shoot a video and all shit for free just because yeah. I already spent, you know, yeah. what I spent and shit. So he, t he, he was cool with me when he sent it to Johnny B. Yeah. Yeah. That's my nigga, man. He, he sent me hella molds, bro, like 10 molds yeah, to do, to send back mm -hmm. and shit. You I feel me? My molds up, I had to get more. <laughs> Only reason I went back out there is to get my shit tight and fixed up, but I sent all my shit to him. You know, I sent them all, and he was on the phone with me with his bitch in the back. He like, yeah, bro, like, man, look at my shit. And he got his shit that popping in. I'm like, oh, man, Damn. I need that, yeah. gang. Busting, diamonds yeah. busting. You know them diamonds busting if you can see them through the camera. Yeah. No, I got the 4K. I already, I, I, I can see from over here. I'm like, yeah. Your shit's shining. Your shit. Game's gonna get his shit on the way. Your shit on the way. Don't play, man. man I'm gonna have a chance to chance my motherfucking life. Yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's a, life is good. Shit. Yeah. I get there to get rewarded. Now shit to go crazy with this music shit. Yeah. Where do you see? Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, well, that's a good one. In five years, I see myself getting a Billboard plaque. I just want one of them. I ain't even gonna say that just one because I want more than one. But once I get one, I just want one of them platinum plastic. I don't even know if they actually really platinum because they say platinum or they just like yeah. look platinum or whatever. But I feel like they'd be real platinum, you know? I don't know. You know, because it's not like. I've seen them before. I think it's like. I think this is. I don't know. That's a good question. They might though. be real platinum. Yeah, they might, I, they, 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 I don't know. I don't think they cheap though to get them, so they might be some real. They gotta have some real, like maybe ten percent or something. But they yeah. gotta be. They gotta be yeah. something because it's not a lot they are giving out like yeah. that. It's not like everybody got a platinum. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta sell yeah. records to get that. And one. the gold ones, like the gold ones, gotta be at least ten k. So. Yeah. But that's what I want. I want that set up in my room, man. Just some, just some plats. You know, a hundred million tracks sold, a million, a million streams. You know, like shit like that. That's what yeah. I want. That's my goal. Yeah, I don't want to go mainstream though, and I feel like that's mainstream already. But I think you get mainstream once you sign a deal. That's why I think it becomes mainstream. I think when you doing underground rap and shit like that, and you stand, you don't sign no deal. I feel like you stay like underground with that. Right. Nip was was an icon, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he showed niggas how to do it. He showed a lot of people how to do it. He was selling tapes for $100. I heard Jay-Z bought them all. Jay-Z came and spent a quarter million with him, I think. See, that's the GOAT right there. That's greatness right there. That's why I want music to be great. And you know when I always say, like, I want my music to be great, I don't mean, like, on no cocky shit. I mean, like, on, like, Lil John and Usher's, yeah. Yeah. You hear that motherfucker today, bitches running, ah, to the middle of the dance floor. Twerk they ass to that song. Yeah. And this song was made back how long ago? To the window, to the wall, man. Years ago, like this 15, is still 15, playing right now, play that song. 15, huh? 15 years to the ago. Window, Timeless to the music wall. though. That's real music. It's That's timeless. what I want. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. And I know I got it, you know. I don't I need one mint, one hit. I need them all to be like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Lil John is smart. He's a smart man. Yeah. Smart yeah. He's smart yeah, motherfucker. For sure. A lot of motherfuckers be like, oh, he be on some crazy shit. Ah, he really smart, bro. Had his own drink and everything. He has his own studio and shit. Yeah. He and he got his songs that's gonna last forever. Yeah. I don't feel like yeah ever get played out. Yeah, man. I, I, you the first person I, I've had uh, get tatted in the mid interview. Yeah. See, why, I'm in here sweating this shit. <laughs> why? Why was that something you uh, decided to do? Yeah. Oh man, cause I gotta go live every day like it's my last, man. I gotta live everything like it's my last, and I feel like this pushing P. You feel me? Who really get? I see gotta 
uh, uh, who's that? Uh, LeBron getting his haircut during the interview. Yeah. So yeah. I said, I got to get tatted during the interview. <laughs> and then my boys just was doing this yesterday, so it was, it was kind of happy because he had to finish some shit up anyway. So I was like, fuck it, my Kind of perfect timing. Yeah, perfect timing. And he promoted his shit too. So. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's, a, it's a win and win. Yeah. Do you have uh, any final words for the people, for the fans, before we get out of here? Yeah, man. Keep that shit 100 and don't ever settle for less, man. Mm-hmm. Evaluate yeah. and, and always believe in God, bro. Keep that faith. Hell yeah, shit. Yeah, we got we got Rock the Great in here. Uh, make sure to follow him on hey. Instagram. Make sure to follow him. Uh, check out all the music on Spotify, Apple Music. Video coming soon. Net the Pharaoh video Net coming Pharaoh soon. Video faded. faded. Finna go dumb. Drop it on World Star. We'll drop it on Innovators. He gonna drop it everywhere, man. Mm-hmm. Eh? Money on the Flow video coming soon. Money on the Flow video too. Snatch it right from me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Money on the Flow coming, and a lot of other tracks coming too. I also, I also did a song with Fredo Bang too. Mm. Met him out there in Miami. Yeah. Yeah, you can see we all on Instagram making a song and shit. So that's coming too. That's oh coming yeah, that's too. gonna be hard. That's a PS right there. Yeah, y'all, be, y'all be on the lookout for that. Oh, Dope shit on the way. Everything and me and Martin, greatness. Yes. Rock the great. I appreciate Shout you for letting me do this. Too. We locked in. Yeah, man. Shout out to uh, Instagram. Be awesome, man. Keep it everywhere.